What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don to Don Season 1, Episode 4. This episode's called Kicking Turbo Granny's Ass. You can't get more spoilery than that in a good way. I'm excited. Hopefully, you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions of this reaction. Not going to waste any more time. Don to Don, Episode 4. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I'm assuming we're still doing our mission of trying to drag the turbo granny out of her natural environment. <laughs> He's not lying. Don't use your little puppy dog eyes. What is this, the Alaskan bullworm from SpongeBob? Oh, hell no. Oh, I love this camera work, but hell no. The eye mouths. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, Turbo Granny. Okarun about to come out? I love his depressed, <laughs> melancholic attitude. He's a downer. Wait. She's like, I'm not going to let you use my power for your guys' benefit. I see. Uh, why'd you... Uh. I love how we think of what her words she gave us in advice as she reflects in her eye. He's like, bet. You want to get on that track? Let's get the burners on. It's so funny when you can completely hear Luffy's voice actress in here. End minute head start. Wait, what? Yeah, do you, does this lady know how to count? It, it, it's been like 30 seconds. That is a good point. She didn't say we have to count chronologically in order. He, oh my god, he's biting Turbo Granny's titty. You did offer us your tit in the first episode. Imagine being swung by someone's titty. He's sucking the power. Okay, no, she's possessing him. Good work. I really enjoy the way they're animating that, but this crab is not letting us go. Is that a real thing in lore? I always know in Greek mythology, you do have to cross the river Styx. Loving this artwork right now, this art style animation. <sighs> he could only do it for a second. <laughs> that was about to be super sick. I love how the scenery changes from normal colors to red whenever a grand spirit is in the vicinity. Oh, I love these this POV shot too. The cam work in this is amazing. Oh, we're about to have some boiling crab. Who wants some dinner? Oh, we needed some butter. It does stiffen up like crazy. 
And it definitely turns that bright red color. That always is one of the craziest things with seafood to me, like shrimp, crabs, lobster, how vastly color changes they do when you cook them. I love that. What in the zombie? The crab with all the mouths and faces on it looks like it should be a persona villain enemy. What in the racing kind of background music are they playing right now? We're about to be dipping. Man's putting the burners on. What the what kind of crackhead music is this? What's well, some great teamwork right here? Oh my god. Oh my god, this animation is so flowy. Okay, psychic car throwing. Again, I love the dynamic camera work we have right now. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, with the crazy ass music, there's Spider-Man launching themselves out of here. And Momo Akaroon blasting off again. Oh, I, again, I love the dynamic camera work, bro. Okay, psychic wings. Help us glide. That was one of the most chaotic, but still so easy, easy to follow moments I've seen. I could tell exactly what was happening. Yet it was pure chaos. Oh no. Oh, there's no okay, W. We're out of here, gotta go. I love how you can see the edge of the city based on the colors and the saturation. Oh, ooh. like I said, I love how the red disappears as we leave her jurisdiction. Was that someone who just came out of Turbo Granny's like curse? Was the crab location based curse have people trapped? There were a lot of faces in the body. It looks as if we won. So are we going to have Turbo Granny powers anymore? Or was that the end of Okarun's powers? Wow. That's dark, but very realistic. As to evil spirits and this being a whole paranormal kind of... That's why Momo looked at is that oh wow it gets a little more empathetic and deeper when you think about it like that you know yeah she still was wrong it's like demon slayer we still have to put her down i like that we need the dead to respect the living the living to respect the dead shout out granny seiko <laughs> this is like a uh, one punch man when he would fight a crab thing and then all of a sudden he's eating crab for dinner <laughs> so, okarun's like i really have no idea no reason to stay here anymore <laughs> yeah that's facts <sighs> i do now it's back it's back and it's settled Huh? Huh?
Yeah, I got to agree with Okarun on this one. We got Granny trying to see the weenie. We got her slurping up some crab legs. Talk about big back activity. What the f This is the first time since the first episode they've actually left. Normally he's sleeping in that little hut back there. You're saying bye to the only friend you've ever had. It felt like such a grandiose moment because, oh, damn, I'm leaving by, you know. But, hey, that's what friends are. It's not a one-day thing. It's not a two-day thing. That was such a fast episode. Holy moly. Well, that was a fantastic episode. I love how consistently outgoing and physical the animation is. Like, the characters are so showing of their emotions through their physicality. I love that. But I love how it's so funny and so comedic yet they'll have the touch of the emotional, the touch of the darkness, the nuance in there, you know? In terms of a spiritual location-based spirit and Granny being the one that always, like it makes sense that this would be a location in which girls were brutally violated and then they couldn't rest in the afterlife with how they died, you know? And a, a grandma being a, that's like that makes sense, which I thoroughly enjoy. They don't need to throw that in there. It could just be funny spirits, funny this, but like, damn you know like i love how it connects to seiko and stuff like that like yes we have a mutual respect for each other but as long as they are living up amongst their own and their guidelines and not attacking us we must do the same to abide by their rules and respect them because we have to coexist at the end of the day so i i love that i love the animation the camera work is so creative i need to read the manga so i can compare and contrast because there's so many shots like if in uh, Chainsaw Man specifically, that to me, I haven't read the manga, but I don't think we're in there. So cinematic. I love it in this. Great episode, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut version. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Do a good deed today. Peace out.